Mandatory federal posting changes are on the way. A pair of laws signed in December are poised to bring mandatory federal posting changes in the next few months. Here's what's likely to change and why. The Provide Urgent Maternal Protections for Nursing Mothers Act, also known as the PUMP Act, which took effect on December 29, 2022, gives more nursing employees the right to a private space and break times to express breast milk at work. The Pregnant Workers Fairness Act will take effect on June 27, 2023. It will require covered employers to provide reasonable accommodations because of pregnancy, childbirth, or a related medical condition, unless the accommodation would cause undue hardship to the employer. Under current law, employers cannot fire or discriminate <coughs> against employees on the basis of pregnancy, childbirth, or related medical conditions. This new law requires reasonable accommodations to be considered. The law will require an update to the Know Your Rights Workplace Discrimination is Illegal posting from the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission as information about the accommodation requirement needs to be added. Federal agencies will increase labor law posting fines. Federal agencies are required to adjust penalties each year for inflation and the Department of Labor and Equal Opportunity Employment Commission have done their part by increasing posting fines. The following fine levels for posters from the Department of Labor apply to penalties assessed after January 15, 2023. Occupational Safety and Health Act, $15,625 for each violation. Family and Medical Leave Act, $204 for each separate offense. Employee Polygraph Protection Act, $24,793. The fine amount for the EEOC poster applies to the penalties assessed after March 23, 2023. Know Your Rights, Workplace Discrimination is Illegal, $659 for each separate offense. The adjustments for inflation are required under the Federal Civil Penalties Inflation Adjustment Improvements Act of 2015. Here is a summary of the 2022 fines versus 2023 fines. Keep in mind, under federal laws, if all employees work remotely and typically receive company communications electronically, then electronic labor law posters are required. <laughs>